Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this part, we want to implement a new design of UI together. I have already prepared the design in XD. Our design includes a photo at the top, a photo at the bottom, and a number of edit text and buttons. We also put a section for logging in with a social account. We also put a text view to get the forgotten password. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get new clips. Let's get started. First, we need to extract the items we need for Android Studio. Select the items and then press the mark for export button. Mark the top and bottom of the image, and then go to the social account icons. And then we mark the logo. Here you can put the logo of your choice. Now it's time to export the items we have marked. From the top menu, select the file option, then the export option, and then the batch option, to open the export settings page. Now we have a number of drawable folders containing the images we need to move to the drawable folder in Android Studio. Extend the res folder and right-click on the drawable folder and select show in Explorer. And then we paste the items here. Delete the text view that already exists here. Select the image view item from the palette section and drag it down. Then select the top background to display inside image view. Attach the layout constraint to the sides of the page. Then select another image view and drag it down and then select the bottom background. Attach the constraint to the sides of the page to fix the Im image. Drag another image view for the logo down, and then select the logo attach the constraint to the sides of the page to fix the image. Enter the value 100 for the distance of the logo from the top of the page. Now it is time to create a drawable. Right-click on the Drawable folder, select the New option, and select the Drawable Resource File option. Enter a name of your choice, and then click OK. Inside the editor we create an item and inside it, we create a shape and set the shape value equal to the rectangle. Then inside the shape, open the solid tag and set the color value to white. Inside the stork tag, open the solid tag and set the color value for the desired color code. Set the width value to the 1. Now back to the layout page. Select the text view item from the palette section and drag it down. Attach the layout constraint to fix the text view. Attach to the logo from the top and to the side of the page from the sides. Enter the value 8 as the upper margin. Set the text view value to Welcome to World. You can enter your favorite title or app name here. Enter the split section to type the properties of this text view. Set the text size to 30 dip. Now it's time for me to set the text style and set its value to bold and italic. And now it's time to set the color of the text. I enter the color code. Select the edit text item from the palette section and drag it down. Connect the layout constraint to the text view from the top and to the sides from the left and right. We give the resource that we previously created in the drawable folder as a background to a detext. The drawable was applied, but I forgot the tag for rounding the corners. We enter it and insert the corner tag and set its radius to 50 dip so that the corners are completely rounded. Now we see that the corners of a detext are completely rounded. Set the layout height to 50 dip, but it is better to set it to 45 dip. Clean the text value and set the hint value to username. The 
the hint value should be in the middle of a dit text, but next to it. To correct it, we should set the text alignment value equal to the center, so that the text and the hint are in the middle of the alignment. The dit text should be slightly spaced. For this we add 16 dp to the value of the spacing. Set the side distance values to 64 dp. As we can see in design xd, the hint for a dit text is bold, so we need to bold the dit text text. Type the text style tag and set its value to bold. Type the text size tag to make sure it is 14 sp. For the aditx password, we put a copy of the aditx username at the bottom. I connect the layout constraint related to the password to aditx related to the username, and set the distance between it and the above item equal to 16. Set the value of password. Now we need a login button. Select the button item from the palette section and drag it down. Connect the layout constraint to the aditx from the top and to the sides from the left and right. Button should be slightly spaced. For this, we add 16 dp to the value of the top spacing. Set the layout width of the button to 0 dp, then set the side spacing to 64 dp. Change the text of the button to the word login. Now we need a drawable to shape the button. Right click on the drawable and select the new option, and then the drawable resource file option. Enter a name of your choice and then click OK. We enter the editor section and create the item tag. Open the shape tag and set the shape value to a rectangle. Inside the shape tag, open the gradient tag and set the angle value to 90 and set the start color and end color equal to the color codes to XD file. Copy the desired color code. And here we paste. Open a corner tag and set the radius to 50 dp, so that the corners of the button are completely rounded. Now back to the main layer. We have to assign the created drawable file to the button. To do this, from the button properties, select the background option and select the desired drawable to change the shape of the button. Type the text color tag to color the button text and set the desired color. Type the text style tag to bold the text and set its value to bold. And set the values of text size. 18 dp or 20 dp seems to be appropriate. Most of the design parts have been completed, only the login parts are left with the social account and the forget password. Now back to the design mode. Select the text view item from the palette section and drag it down. Connect the layout constraint to the button from the top and to the sides from the left and right. Text view should be slightly spaced. For this we add 16 dp to the value of the top spacing. Set the text value to sign in with social account. Set the values of the text style to bold. Select the linear layout item from the palette section and drag it down. Now it's time for the social account forms. Select the image view item from the palette section and drag it down. From the list that appears, select the Facebook. Connect the linear layout to the text view and to the sides.
remove the linear layout value so that the image view occupies only its own space. Now it's time for the rest of the icons. Move a new image view to the linear layout and select the Google icon. Remove the layout weight value and then repeat the same steps for the Twitter icon. Now these shapes must be in the middle of the crease. To do this, we need to set the value of gravity equal to the center. Image views they are in the middle of the crease, but they are stuck together. We have to give some margin to the start and end of these shapes to make them look better. Set the values on both sides to 10 deep. Now it's time for the text view related to recovery. We drag a text view down and connect it from the top on the linear layout and connect it to both sides. Set the text value to don't remember password. Now it's time for the properties of this text view. Type the text style tag to bold the text and set its value to bold. Text view has no space with a top layer. We have to give it a margin. I think 24 dp is enough for that. Ok my friends, our design is ready. Don't forget to subscribe to watch our new videos. Goodbye until the next episode.